This is official concept art of a role that was to be introduced in the Coven expansion. Can you guess which one it is? Believe it or not, it isn't Plague Bearer or Pestilence, it's Potion Master. And that, my friends, is what we're here to talk about today, because I recently spoke with the developers of the Coven expansion who have given me access to never-before-seen art and information about what could have been in the game. And we have a lot to get through. The developers I spoke to go by the online names Trader Russ and Trader Blue. Trader Russ worked on the game's development from pre-Coven days, helped design the Coven roles mechanics with other devs, and worked on the Unity and mobile ports of the game. I found out this little fact after making fun of the old UI in one of my videos and getting a DM from him. Oops. <laughs> Trader Blue worked on most of the avatars and pets you see in the game, along with making the game's UI look flashy. Some roles have special menu pop-ups like Pirate or Hypnotist. If you like these menus, you have Trader Blue to thank. The info I'm sharing here comes from the two of them. The Coven faction was designed with the core idea of incorporating many different forms of witchcraft into it. The Potion Master represents alchemy, however this wasn't always the case. Trader Rush shared that the original inspiration for Potion Master was a mage character from Dungeons & Dragons. To give an oversimplified explanation, a mage, such as a warlock, has many spells that they are capable of using, but must choose just a few that they will use on any given day. We can see parts of this in Potion Master's final design. You are capable of using many different potions, but you must choose just one to use on any given night. The devs wanted Coven to be viable as their own faction, but wanted to remove the promotion mechanic of Mafia, so they had to go with role ideas that were capable of killing on their own, which is why one of the potion options deals an attack. The update before Coven introduced the Royal Family skins, and after adding them, the devs were looking to have more variety in their characters. This is a sheet of possible Potion Master designs that Trader Blue shared with me, and there's a lot to unpack here. What jumps out first is the Plague Doctor looking design that I referenced in the intro. Trader Russ told me that the art comes second to the role ideas being talked over and coded. That leads us to the conclusion that Potion Master's abilities and mechanics were finished long before Plague Bear and Pestilence came into the picture. Otherwise, a Plague Doctor looking Potion Master design wouldn't have been considered. These witches on the left also stand out to me. Even though they're more simple, it looks like Trader Blue was toying around with the idea of having the Potion Master's face being covered by the shadow of her hat which did end up staying consistent in the final design. This one is also really interesting. It looks like a combination of a townie, coven leader, and the potion master design they ended up using. This version wears a regular hat, but had the peacock feather from the version we know attached to it. In their hand, they're holding the Necronomicon, and their potions are strapped across themselves instead of being hidden in their cloak. In the bottom right, we can see early art of what ended up being the design they chose, with the differences between the three being the hair length. This page shows versions with slight differences, which was made after they decided to go with this design. It's kind of like a spot the difference puzzle. This one has glasses on. This one has two feathers. This one has a belt. Something Trader Ruffs noticed is that the werewolf skin was especially popular among players, despite it being an older skin and costing town points. He theorized that this was because of the transformation animation that played when using it. So they decided to make the Potion Master avatar transform to test this. And in the top right, we can see early art of the moth that it turns into when the day ends. Needless to say, he was correct, and the Potion Master skin remains one of the most popular to this day. That's about all I have to say. Let me know if you like this kind of video. I have the material to make some on other roles if you did.